Hi, Teresa. Thanks very much for talking to us about your new film, I Am Number Four. Now, in the film, you play the character Six. Um, now, she's quite an incredibly strong character and, and is is really action-packed role. Um, did that attract you to being in the film? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think um, when I read the script, I instantly felt connected to her because she's such a strong woman and I, I thought it was quite an empowering role and I wanted to be a part of that. Um, now, the main thing that really came across is that I think how many skills you must have had to manage to learn in a, probably a quite short time. Um, can you talk, talk us through that? Because you do fighting, you do bike riding, you use weapons. Yeah. Can you talk us through things. that process? Well, she's such a warrior in this film, number six, and I am not one. So I had to do training um, for three months before we started the film. and. It was pretty intense, it was gruelling. I would go into the stunt warehouse for four to five hours a day, six days a week, and learn various moves, martial arts stuff. I learned to ride the Ducati motorbike, obviously. So you actually rode that yourself? I did, yeah. I wasn't sure, maybe I thought, oh, like, my gosh, oh yeah. really? I did. And had you been on a bike before? Or? I grew up riding uh, quad bikes at my dad's farm, but this is just so different, riding a two-wheel bike, and it's a Ducati, it's so powerful. and. And you can feel underneath you how powerful this machine is. But yes, yeah, so it was that paired with um, doing flips on wires upside down and learning how to shoot a gun and use an alien dagger. So there's a lot of preparation involved. Um, and because your character, you see you a couple of times earlier in the film, um, but you kind of really explode in in that final huge action yeah. sequence, which is quite quite an elaborate sequence. Um, I mean, did you have to work with the director, DJ Caruso, on establishing your characters? You almost appear so quickly. Yeah. Was there any sort of like, the, you know, you say some little things and it's quite interesting. I mean, did you actually work on the character that way as well? Not really. We didn't focus on um, how to keep her mysterious in the film. I just wanted to play her true to uh, the script. And we talked in advance about who she was and what her backstory was. And, we both wanted it to, uh, to be very mysterious in the way that when she comes on screen you don't really know if she's one of the good guys or if she's one of the bad guys. Um, and we would reference Angelina Jolie. Oh. So we thought she was the perfect person to follow her work and to look at um, you know, her stuff in, in uh, Wanted and Tomb Raider. And I think she's so phenomenal in those films. And, she possesses a lot of qualities that Six has, I think. She's very enchanting and intoxicating and also intimidating and, and Six is exactly the same way. Um, and how was it working with DJ Caruso? Did you have to, as a director, did you have to audition for him? And, and did you, you know, was he good to work with on the set? Yeah, I auditioned for him. I used my natural dialect and went in and tried to channel my inner badass. Um, and it worked, I guess, yeah. I got the role. And he's just such a giving man. He's so sweet and warm and he um, he's also very open and he lets me, well, he lets us as actors try different things and it's, it's quite nice um, and very liberating to know that the director puts their trust in you and, um, and because of that I felt free to try lots of things with my character and explore her and develop her character as much as, as possible. I thought that was a really nice point you just made and about using your own accent because you use that in the film. Yeah. Was there any pressure to, to use, make you, you know, use American accent or...? No, um, from day one they were pretty on board with me using my natural dialect and I did a, the natural dialect in the read through and I wasn't sure if people liked it but then we got the feedback that everyone thought it was perfect for the character. So then we went in and we started shooting the film and at the end of the movie we would do these test screenings and um, some of the feedback we got, um, actually from Steven Spielberg. Oh, really? <laughs> he said, yeah, I really like her in the movie but I can't understand some of what she's saying. <laughs> so I had to go back and ADR oh. some of it and Americanize some of the words. Mm. So instead of saying ass, I say ass. and instead of saying like Red Bull, I have to say Red Bull. Um, and, and it's great, now people understand it, but I know all my Australian friends are going to just oh, give me so much crap for it. Um, it's interesting you talk about Australia. Do you see yourself working in American films and Australian films now? Yeah. Or are you just trying to sort of, or just happy to work anywhere, you know, in anything that's interesting? 
Yeah, I mean, for me, it's not really about working in Australia versus America or vice versa. I um, I have to be connected to the script, and I just recently wrapped a film in Australia called Say Nothing. It's a little independent film. It's a, like a drama thriller, and it stars Joel Edgerton, who's an amazing Aussie actor. So I love going back home and working, and, and there's, there's such a contrast... Um, between doing a film like this and then going and shooting in Cambodia, guerrilla style, mm. and um, you know, shooting a little Australian film like that. So. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much for taking time thank to talk so to much. us, Teresa. Thank Thanks. you.